now. Good morning. Hi. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Hope you're all okay. How you're doing? Hopefully, you're finding us. We are here. We are back. Good morning. But we're in different places. Hi. Good morning. Sorry about that. And strange. I, I was watching us on YouTube while recording YouTube then. Good morning everyone. Hi. <laughs> Hopefully you're finding us or logging on slowly. You'll see that it's a slightly different setup today. You have got Lexi full screen. Hi. And I'm up in the top corner. You can Lexi can point to me and I'll wave. Can, can other side. <laughs> Hello. Hello. How are you all doing? So in the corner today, and the reason for that is obviously, like many of you, we are um, in our own studios, away from each other. It's so sad. Is it sad that it's being away from me? <laughs> it is. It's, uh, I'm like, oh, cry. <laughs> this is such a bad cry. So Lexi's like, having an awesome time. She's away from me, but for, for that reason. Um, I'm going to give you a little cry emoji because uh, you're crying because you're missing. Oh. But for that reason, uh, me and Lexi are in different places. So you can see Lexi, but you can't uh -huh. see me apart from very small. Um, but you can hear me. But thank you for joining us. Now I can see people are slowly finding us. We've got one like. One like's always better than none, isn't it, Lexi? <laughs> That's awesome. Yay. <laughs> Thumbs up, everybody. So we are, obviously, we've been learning lots of new things, figuring out a way to do this when we are in different locations in Wales, but at the same time, try and be together to give you a class. So hopefully you'll enjoy what we're doing today. We've got yep. lots of cool ideas. Um, first of all, we wanted to say thank you to some, some people have um, donated money to us, um, which is absolutely awesome. Um, thank you very, very much. Um, they've done it on our website, and can I just say that it, it's just ex it's exceptionally kind. So thank you very much. Um, yes, yeah, thank you. Um, it's going to mean it means a lot to us emotionally as much as anything else. Mm -hmm. um, it will help us towards some of our overheads as we keep going. Um, also, Lexi, you've written another blog. What was your blog I this have. week? Um, it's a blog about um, the top ten animes to watch while you're stuck inside. Okay, so um, got some suggestions of really long lasting animes or some old school animes that you might have missed. So yeah, there's like a selection of 10 of them. So check it out. Awesome. Some people are saying hi down on the screen. You can actually see you saying hi today. So help me <laughs> cosplay said, sup dudes. Hi. <laughs> so thank you. They're on Instagram. If you want to see Instagram. Hi everybody. I know it's a bit weird that you can see Lexi there. Let me minimise Lexi. I'm just keeping half of you and how many people are watching us. Mm -hmm. some people speaking to us just down in here. Um, the blog's awesome. I've read it. I thought it was really cool. Um, it gave me an idea of some of the different uh, top animes to kind of watch for our incarceration, which is the perfect time to get hooked on. How many series did some of those have? They like, I mean, episodes, they had like 250 episodes. Oh no, um, I think One Piece has got like 900 plus episodes. Oh my god. And Pokemon might have over a thousand. That's awesome. So that's going to keep us busy. So that's mm -hmm. okay. In this time that's going to keep us busy. Right. Um, also on our website this week, um, we have shown some people. Well, let me show them actually online. Lex, you can see my screen, can't you? Yeah. So let me just do this. And we've got a class today running, which is the free live one. On Wednesday, we're going to run another class at 11 o'clock, and we're going to be drawing Pokemon characters and having lots of Pokemon fun and Pokemon quizzes. And <coughs> you would have to you would have to pay a little fee. It's a tiny fee that just helps us kind of figure out how to keep running these classes. When you add it to the basket and pay the fee, we are, on the morning we're going to mail you a link. So you can join uh, join us on that feed. So you can only join us on that YouTube um, class on Wednesday if you paid the massive four pound fee. Also, on Wednesday and Thursday, we've got new Skype drawing classes. Um, and what you can do is you can ring the office. The numbers on on that uh, product there, 
We can book you in a time slot. You get half an hour and Lexi or myself will call through to you on Skype and you, we can actually have a chat and we can look at your drawings <coughs> in Skype and we'll tell you how to get your drawings to us in that class and then mm -hmm. we can actually show you digitally how we would correct or assist you on your drawings if you've got any questions. So yeah. we think that's kind of, well, that's kind of uber exciting. So hopefully some of you are interested in joining us in our Skype classes. Um, after the class, after today's class, check it out. And hopefully some of you are going to join us on Wednesday for our... Oops, hang on. Wrong, <laughs> wrong I can see like a million versions of me. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Uh, some, uh, some of you are going to join us on Wednesday. Sorry, I lost my train of thought there. I was just looking at how many people are watching. Yeah, we've got seven likes already, so that's kind of awesome. Yay! Today, we're going to start off with me drawing. So um, hopefully everyone's okay with that. Let me just see if anyone complained about it's going to be me. Um, let's see if anyone's on Instagram. Oh, Dylan Davis is there. Hi, Dylan, how are you doing? He says hello. So people are on Instagram saying hello. That's always nice. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Oh, sorry, Lex, I cut you off there. That's fine. I was just saying hello. <laughs> um, this morning, we are going to start off with my favourite subject, hands. Okay? So I'm just going to do this really quickly as a warm-up. And then, Lex, what are you doing after that? Um, we are going to look at three-quarter faces today. Awesome. Cool. Um, and we're going to do that in a minute. And we've got a quiz, haven't we? Yes, of course, as normal. Excellent. Right, so let's get starting on this one. I hope you've got your pencil and your paper ready. I've got this little pile of drawings that I did a little while. Actually, a long time ago. This actually I did this in 2016. <coughs> there you are. That was a while back. But I grabbed <laughs> this this morning, and I thought it was a nice little warm up for us. Lots of you that draw with us regularly will um, will have done these kind of basic shapes for us. But if you're new to our class, a hand from the side is kind of like a triangle. If you can kind of see my cursor, there's a triangle shape there. So I'm going to show you how I would draw this really. I'm just going to take my time on it slowly and I'm going to draw this first hand and I'm going to draw a kind of triangle shape. So I'm drawing the top of the hand and then I'm going to draw a triangle shape a little bit like this. And I got the, the the triangle kind of comes across here. So if I draw this kind of triangle shape, don't worry too much. It doesn't have to be super neat. It just gives me the basic shape for the side of a hand. Now for me now, I'm going to start building these fingers. So to do that, I'm just going to pull this top finger out and I'm going to build a tube. Right? So I'm going to build something a bit like this. I've got the top tube here. I'm going to build the mid length of the finger, which is probably about the same length as the first section of the finger. So I'm going to draw like this. And then I'm going to drop the end of the finger on. And this is going to be shorter. And I'm going to make sure I round that fingertip. So I've got a flat top and a rounded end. Remember, those that draw regularly with us, the way you draw the end of your fingertips helps direct the hand in a different direction. Okay? I'm just going to flatten down the side here. Hopefully, you can see this. <coughs> And I'm going to draw my thumb. So about the same length as one of these shapes I was drawing just now, but a little bit wider on the thumb. So I'm just going to build the tube section of that thumb. And then I'm going to draw my, uh, my, th my thumb tip. So again, I'm going to have a slightly flatter edge on here. And I'm going to curve on this side. So I'm showing, by doing that, I'm trying to show a slightly three-quarter thumb and I'm going to just draw this thumbnail in. Okay, so hopefully you're drawing along with us. I'm just going to grab. I my am. Oh, yeah. I'm along. Well. <laughs> Is my drawing okay, Lexi? Looking good so far. All oh, fans. Got right. lots of people on Instagram saying hello. Oh, cool. Who's saying hello? So Dan saying hello. Elsie, Cornelius. You, lots of people. Do you know why they're saying hello? Because I'm teaching hands, which means they're not listening to me, because that's what happens when I teach hands. <laughs> <laughs> Who's, has anyone said, no, not hands? Not yet. They haven't complained about the hand teaching yet. <laughs> right, I'm drawing uh, that the shape of the, the lower section of the hand. You know I always go on about this, falling in love with this area of the hand here, this, this rounded shape. So. That helps me do that, and I'm going to grab my eraser and erase <coughs> that triangle out. 
And then I'm going to bring in the arm. So I'm just going to come up. I'm going to simplify this drawing. I'm going to come just up to here, draw a bit of the arm, and then I'm going to pull it up here on this side, onto that triangle. And I'm just going to rub that little bit out and rub that little bit. And we've got the basic shape for a hand already. Remember, that came from a triangle. And I love this triangle drawing because it's if you're feeling a little low in confidence, just want to start drawing the first drawing of the day, just draw the triangle and bring a hand together. It seems to work really well. Okay, I'm now going to draw the back finger. So I'm going to draw kind of the first tube and roll up. And I'm going to draw the second section about the same length. And I'm going to draw... Oh, I'm drawing it slightly differently. I'm cheating. I'm not, I wasn't even looking at this one very well. I'm drawing a fingertip, something like this, and I'm rolling on this side. So curved on this side, flat on that side. That helps me draw that fingertip in. We've okay. just had a message through. Um, Millie and Dan Fisk in Bridgend. They want to shout out. This is the third time that they've joined us. Awesome. That means yeah. they're, they're veterans. Yep. They've done this as many times as we have. Yeah, I know. And we've also just had some um, Help Me Cosplay said, no one likes hands. <laughs> <laughs> and Morris has said, I'm going to lose in the quiz. <laughs> oh, never. Um, <laughs> on this drawing, I've, I've actually drawn it slightly different to this one, which is really bad, isn't it? I'm copying an image and not drawing it right. I'm going to show a little bit of finger there, and I'm going to draw the end of the fingertip here and I'm just doing a rounded edge with a flat top and I might see then the other fingertip in here <laughs> something like that are you laughing at me or Instagram <laughs> I'm laughing at Instagram <laughs> they haven't complained about hands yet the chat allow us to introduce ourselves that's Cornelius again okay hello Cornelius how's Cornelius gonna do in the quiz today I don't know. We've got Dan on side as well, so I think he'll be between them. It's going to be a scrap on uh, the quiz again. Right, <laughs> I'm just going to find another hand drawing. I'm going to do another triangle one, just to show you how this triangle really works like a million times in drawing. So I'm just going to move my canvas over, and I'm going to draw this drawing, and then we'll do some anime drawing. So really, this is just to warm us up, because we are trying to run a drawing class. Mm -hmm. and uh, get our kind of brains engaged with the drawing. So again, I'm going to do this triangle shape. Um, actually, from this angle, normally I would come across the knuckles, and this would be the... So I'll show you here. Normally, across the knuckles would be my widest point, to the thumb, and then my triangle would come down towards the back of the hand, so something a bit like this. Right. So I can still do that there. It's a little bit of a three-quarters hand, so I'm going <coughs> across the top of the hand here. So. To allow for that, I'm not going to put my top finger on here. I'm going to just draw it in slightly. And I'm going to bring my first tube for the finger, the second tube for the midsection, about the same length, and then the fingertip end, flat top, and I'm going to curve around that fingertip, something like that. I'm just going to use my eraser. I, so, I always say eraser when I'm doing digital art because the shortcut is easy. <coughs> so. It's not that I've suddenly turned American, not, nothing against that. It's just I would, in England, uh, in Britain, I would call it a rubber, wouldn't I? I wouldn't call it an eraser, but it helps for the, sheep, uh, the keyboard shortcuts. Um, I'm going to drop in my other finger. Now remember, the middle finger is the longest finger. We have a very delightful way of reminding our pupils in our classes, but we won't be doing that today in, a, in this class. Those that have been to our classes will know what I'm talking about. And I'm going to draw that longest finger, making sure it's just a touch longer in there. So I'm just doing something like that. Okay, let's just pull this together in here. I'm going to use my eraser. I'll just let you catch up for a moment. Is anyone speaking on Instagram, Lex? Yes. Um, Dan has made a JoJo's Bizarre Adventure reference, uh, saying I'm Yoshikake uh, Yoshi Kira. I'm 33 years old. I love hands. <laughs> so um, basically, he's a bit of a serial killer. Oh, nice. <laughs> Awesome. <laughs> my kind of character. <laughs> so yeah, on, oh, I think Dan on? and Cornelius have got um, a bit of banter going on. Oh nice. Be nice to each other, please. We're on they, are be, they are being nice. They're just kind of going. I'm going to win the quiz. Okay. Cool. <laughs> um, is anyone on Twitter, by the way? Twitter. I'm going to have a look now. No worries. While you're doing that, I'm just going to build this thumb. So I'm going to. Oops, I've got my eraser. I'm going to build this section of the thumb up. 
going to round these lines, draw the thickness, and I'm going to come down and come down into the shape of this hand. So I'm going to do this rounded shape here. I'm just going to use my razor to thin that out. I draw more with my rubber than I do with my pencil sometimes. Right, on this thumb I'm going to draw a flat top and then curve this side because the way this thumb is is three quarters. That's going to help me demonstrate that in my drawing and I'm going to suggest that nail, keeping this top nail line curved like this. I'm not drawing it like that, yeah? Drawing that curve because I'm drawing the rounded form. And there's one finger sticking out back here. I would have thought the first section's behind there, the second section kind of sneaks out, and then the third section does something like that. So I could do something like that. Let me just block that in a little bit. Um, and I'm going to come down and draw some of the ligaments down the hand, some of the length of the hand. And I like to just drop in like a little bit of the arm, a little bit of the wrist, a little bit of a bump there because of the way this arm is stretched out. I'm going to raise this around. And I think the last thing I want to do in this drawing is just suggest a form line, again curving that line, showing me it's a round, um, the arm is a spherical round tubular object. So those are my little hands. I'll let you have a moment to catch up with that. Lex, anything interesting going on on social media? Yeah, we've had a lovely picture through um, from Millie's dad or mum saying that, uh, showing us a picture of Millie actually drawing at the same time as uh, watching you draw. Oh, awesome. And she's done a really, really good um, picture of the hands. So that's cool. If you want to put it on Instagram and tag us in it, that like outside of our messages, that's awesome. So well done, Millie. Good work. I'll try and grab that in a minute if I can, okay? Yeah. Um, I think I've finished with that. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to minimise that and we're going to say hello to Lexi. Hello, Lex. How are you? Everyone can Hi. see you again now. Sorry, I'm just looking at the Instagram messages and stuff. <laughs> oh. uh, I see Cornelius is there. My pencil's broken. Get a sharpener. That's what Cornelius <laughs> said. Oh. Cosplay. No one knows who I am. Do we know who that person is? We'll find out. Um, I got a feeling it's someone from Clan Harry. <laughs> <laughs> um, Dan is uh, thirty-three years old. I love hands. Yes, that's the JoJo's reference. Oh, I see. Cool. Um, excellent. Right. Legs, you're going to do some drawing. I might do some drawing. Should we let Lex draw? What do people think on Instagram? Should Lexi do some drawing and should I stop talking? It's a vote. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll, I'll draw some hands, shall I? <laughs> <laughs> we'll do more hands. <laughs> oh, cool. Okay. Do you think I should start drawing then, guys? <laughs> it's gone quiet. No one wants you to draw today, Lex. Hang on, I've had a text from probably my mum. So my mum say no. Oh, my mum sent a picture. Hey, she's drawing a hand. They're really good. <laughs> awesome drawings of hands. Well done, mum. They're fabulous. Um, Lex, over to you. I'm going to full screen you and you can do the next bit, I think. So Whoa. over to you. You can still see my screen, can't you? Yeah. Here we are. Oh, you can see me, everyone, briefly. Hello. Say hi to Nick. <laughs> <laughs> Can you see my screen? We can. Awesome. So today we're going to look at drawing Froppy. So most people will know what Froppy's from. Um, it sounds like a frog. It is. Well, she's got um, her like superpowers. Her quirk is frog. Wow. So she can do like she can elongate her tongue like really long like a frog can and she could like use her her hands have special sticky pads on them so she could climb up walls and stuff so to be honest if you're eating a yogurt to have a really elongated tongue is quite good <laughs> for finishing off the yogurt tub is that right <coughs> that would be very helpful wouldn't it yeah that's what i think <laughs> okay so this character's from my hero academia so we're kind of going with that theme if people would like to draw other things, then suggestions are more than welcome. So I was thinking about drawing Zenitsu from um, Demon Slayer. I kind of changed my mind last minute to draw her because I think more people would be familiar with 
your style. Oh, so just starting by drawing a head again, okay. Sorry, my tablet's doing something funny. We've had a few we've had a few technical issues and we were photoshopped through this way. Yeah. We're, we're getting there. We're getting there. So hopefully it will play with us today. Okay, so we're starting off with a circle. This is a That's really good beautiful. example. Sorry Lex to cut over you, but people often say to us, I can't draw a perfect circle. Well, nor can we, and you can see there that Lexi, like me, we don't get it right. You've got to search. I always say you've got to search for the circle. Don't be afraid. Just sketch the lines in, and you'll find. You know, you'll kind of find the circle. And I, and I kind of use my rubber to f to find that circle because people always seem to be f worried about drawing a circle. So just to say that we all find drawing circles a little bit tricky. Just give it a go and search for it if that makes sense. Yeah, totally. Um... It, it, it is about looking and also the point that we usually make is press lightly with your pencil because you're going to end up rubbing out most of the, the line that you've made anyway. Okay, so <clears throat> three quarter heads. So when we're doing front on, we put our line down the middle. Okay, so we're not going to do that today. We are putting our line on a curve. Three quarters of the way through the head. Okay. So like that, and then our line going, our eye line going across the head is like that. Okay. So two thirds of the way down as normal. <coughs> it looks like a great big red tennis ball. It does, doesn't it? Mm, it's beautiful. <laughs> okay, so with this image, we're going to start by drawing on the eye. Okay, so I'm going to start with a big circle type shape. Mm. Is anyone commenting on Instagram or are they all concentrating? I will see if I can log in on my phone. <laughs> oh, I'm not made your eye big enough, so I'm just going to rub that bit out and I'm just bring it further up. So the other day I was talking when I when we did our first tutorial and we did um, Midoriya's head I was saying about how in My Hero Academia the art is a bit crazy because all the characters have slightly different eyes yeah. so yeah if Froppy is another example of the different type of eyes that can be made because in this one do they have sorry different eyes even in the same anime yeah yeah, it's crazy that, isn't it? But it kind of works, doesn't it? Yeah, you know, it's fab and it makes each character even more individual, like not just about this like superpower kind of thing. It adds to um, the feel of each character, I think. Oh, don't need to do that. Okay, so I'm going to go to the other eye. Now, because it's three quarters, this is the good thing about drawing three quarters. The eye doesn't have to be exactly the same. When your head's tilted slightly to the side, you don't see as much as of the other eye. So this eye is going to be the same length, but it's going to be slightly more squished. Yeah, it's like narrower, isn't it? Yeah, that's that's the word. Couldn't <laughs> think of it then. It's a Monday morning. This is early for Lexi. And this, the hour's gone forward. I know. Well, yeah, this is super early for you, isn't it? Like, you, you know, it's, uh, this would be almost on time for you if you're arriving at work. <laughs> yeah, nearly. Not quite. <laughs> I'm just going to rub out some of those lines so we can see some of the details a bit better. While everyone catches up. Okay, so we're just going to put a little 
lying here for a nose. So it's like a little L shape nearly. And then her mouth. <clears throat> so if you're drawing a normal anime character, her mouth would probably be like this. Okay. But because because she's a frog, she's got a um, slightly strange shape of her mouth. Lewis has just joined us, I think. He's saying hello. Hi, Lewis. He said, I'm back and no one can stop me now. Oh, does that mean you take your part in the quiz? I guess, I guess so. So again, Froppy's mouth him is really wide because it's like a frog's and it comes all the way over to the edge of her eye okay that's where she it lines up Morris wants to draw a beast or something in the next session maybe I could do that oh that'd be cool like a monster or something like that that kind of sounds cool doesn't it Help me, Cosby said your drawing looks like a shy potato. <laughs> <laughs> Which I thought was quite funny. That's awesome. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to put on the side of her face so we come into where the eye line is, okay? And we curve inwards and then outwards. And we bring in the cheek, or bring out the cheek, sorry. And I'm just going to look at where her eye is on this picture. So on the smaller picture, I'm looking at where her eye is and where her chin is. So I can see that her chin basically is about by here on the other image. So I know to take my chin line across to about by here okay just going to rub out some of this again well we've had hello from Ellie Sherwood hi Ellie hello Ellie how are you doing I mean, she missed my hands drawings if she's only just joined us now. Where were you for the hands? Um, she's, I think they've been online watching the hands, oh. but I don't think she, the Instagram isn't working, so I just had a message through. I may be done this a little bit too thick for here. So I'm just going to thin it out and then use my rubber. Ah. Okay, that went a bit weird. What's, what's interesting, guys, as well, is um, I was watching Lexi make marks now. Even in the last five minutes, her marks, in five minutes of drawing, the way you make marks is much more confident than it was when you first started. And it just illustrates the point for all of us that your first drawing is very rarely your best drawing. It's, it's kind of, you've got to start mark making. You've got to kind of wake up your brain. It sounds weird, but the way your brain and your hand talk to each other. Just got to start doing some drawing, which is why I often do that triangle thing. Just start doing some drawing, something simple. Get yourself going. Get your hand and your brain talking to each other. And I can already see how confident your mind making has changed within like mm -hmm. five minutes. Yeah, I agree. It takes a little while to warm up and stuff. And then, yeah, so as you progress, it gets a bit easier then. Um, so that's the basics of Froppy's head. So now we're going to work on her hair. Okay, so Froppy's hair, unlike Midoriya's, is a bit flatter. But we still want to think about our little helmet that we wear, our little wig that comes off the skull and around, okay? So we're bringing it around like this. So really lightly with this because we're going to rub it out. I'm going to take my opacity down actually. 
and it comes off the head. Might need to be a bit thicker on this side. Okay, so I'm just bringing that thickness away from the head. And then we can rub out this line a bit more. Okay, um, once that's done, we're just going to bring, so I'm going to look at this piece of hair in the middle by here, and I know that this starts with the, at the edge of the eye and then comes down to that section, so finishes just at the, towards the edge of that eye. So, I'm going to make the shape first of all, okay, rather than um, worry about the different like triangles that are coming at the end. So I just make the shape and then this helps me once I've got the shape and then I can put in the details afterwards, okay? Looks cool. So by putting the shapes in, I know that that's pretty much correct. And now I'm going to manipulate it and draw in where her hair splits up and stuff. How's everybody doing? They've gone very quiet, so I think they're all drawing really hard. That's the impression I get. We want to see these pictures, okay, guys? So put them on your Instagram, tag us in them. They'll be fab. Yep. Your hand drawings. You can your hash drawings. These characters. Yeah, hashtag Turnip Starfish. And um, in our other classes, we will do more, because there's more people probably watching this. It's hard for us to engage with all those drawings. So on the class on Wednesday, um, we imagine less people will watch because you've got to pay a small fee so we can actually spend a bit more time looking at your drawings and in our Skype classes which you can book on Wednesday and Thursday this week um, we will be able to the whole point about that is that we will get your drawings via Skype and we'll tell you what to do in the class and we will then bring it onto our computer <coughs> and we will show you any tweaks to the drawings that you're doing and we can help you with any drawing so if you want us in our Skype classes to draw a certain character, as long as we can find an image, we will try and do that one, do it that way. And um, if you've already got some drawing you've already done, maybe you've been drawing, you've, you've been at home for a week or two and you've already been doing some drawing and you just like some feedback, um, then also we can look at those drawings and give you direct feedback. So it's a kind of different thing where you know, it's not it's not about watching TV for another hour, it's about actually engaging and us actually having a chat and looking at your work and helping teach you a bit more. That's what we want to do, isn't it, Legs? Mm-hmm. Yeah, most definitely. So, like, while you're not in school and having your favourite art class, we are here to try and help you keep improving your skills. Okay, so I'm just going to do... The side piece of hair by here. So again, I know it starts by here. Comes down quite a way. And then there's the thickness. So again, I'm just drawing in the shape before I put any details in. So we've got a little hello from phil.ml.16. Can we draw Jojo's characters in a different session? Totally, can't we? Yeah, that's no worries at all. <laughs> <laughs> so you can do that in a couple of ways. Either we'll try and schedule it into the free, uh, free YouTube classes which we're going to do every Monday 
or uh, you can um, book a Skype class and Lexi can do um, do a one-to-one -one with you and draw any of the Jojo characters you want. Yeah, that's cool. Just to warn you guys, they are quite hard to draw, okay? So it'd be quite, it would be a very slow tutorial, okay? Because they are quite complex. A bit different to what you would usually be um, drawing. But it's good to challenge yourself now and again. Good to have a go. Yeah, totally. You've got to draw the different styles as well. That's how you become a stronger mm -hmm. artist, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. Because I, like, I quite often draw Disney characters and other cartoon characters because even though it's not anime or manga, um, it helps my drawings, my, my own personal drawing skills improve. I just draw hands. <laughs> <laughs> All the time. What's Nick drawing today? Hands. I'm just going to put a line in for her neck. And I'm just going to put a little collar right here. And then, oh. That line's in the wrong place. So about by here, I'm just going to bring a shoulder down. And then, here, here. And it's down like that. Okay, so I'm just going to add in some little details. And I'm just going to zoom in for a moment and I'm going to put, because you can't see it from too far away, so I'm just going to add in Froppy's eyelashes. We've had a nice another picture from Millie and Daniel Fisk and Bridgend. We can see them drawing and we've they've sent their picture of their hands and the character of drawing. That's, that's awesome. Thanks for sending that through, guys. So now what I would do, oh, digitally wise, now what I would do is um, I'd go back and refine my lines slightly. So I would go in and use um, like a black, like you would if you were fine lining. So some of you might have the tools with that you can use. Okay, so some of you might have a fine liner that you might like to fine line with. But that's what I usually do is the next step is I use. Lewis just posted a beautiful drawing of a, I'm guessing it's a lizard. I don't mean, I mean that in a way that it, it could be a lizard or it could be, what's the big, Dragon, Komodo dragon. Oh, cool. Um, he's doing something on Instagram. He's just posted something. It's beautiful. I love Komodo dragons. <laughs> but I love lizards, full stop. So. I love the idea that dragons are still alive. Yes. The Komodo dragon. <laughs> So some of you might fine line your drawing and then colour it afterwards, okay? Some of you might be drawing digitally. Hmm? Just going to zoom in for a minute.
<laughs> Where's she gone? So obviously we have to do this digital today because we are in different locations. So we are obviously doing this in a different way. Whereas before you could see us doing it on paper and pencil. But the drawing process of shapes and construction is exactly the same. You know, you've got to learn to draw in paper and pencil first before you can even go to digital. Yeah. People sometimes say to me, or they they seem to give me the impression that because they draw digital, or that they think the, the computer's going to make them draw better, and the computer isn't going to help you draw better. Um, it's another tool. It's another set of tools. A bit like paintbrushes. It's like, you know, you can paint, you can draw on paper and pencil, you can use fine liners, you can use charcoal, you can also use digital. They're all different, but the structures of drawing are the same throughout. So. You, you're just seeing us tackle it in a digital manner because it's the easiest way at the moment for us to show you whilst me and Lexi are actually in different locations. Cool. So that's the basic image for today. So I'm just like fine lining it now, but I'll probably pause in a moment because the basic structure's there and those of you at home who are drawing along, you can continue cool. what we could do is maybe we'll um, finish that we'll finish that drawing in our own time and post it later in the week or something like that out of interest that would yeah. be kind of cool wouldn't it yeah totally excellent so while you're just finishing that one off I'll leave it on screen for a moment and then we'll say hello to Lexi again um, if you want to say hello oh I've got a nice picture I've got a nice picture there from my mum well done mum and I've got a nice one online, which I think I'm going to pull down as well. From, um, I think it was from Millie. So we'll have a little look at that one. And then we'll do a quiz in the last bit, because we know how you all love your quizzes. <coughs> That's right, isn't it? <coughs> oh, so uh, Lewis has just said it is a Komodo dragon. So that's kind of cool. That's why I thought, when I said lizard, I was like, oh, it's not. It's a Komodo dragon. So I was right. That's always nice. <laughs> Lex, we're going to come back to you, so I'm just going to minimise you down a bit. Okay. And if you if you want to, you can say hello. Hello, Lex. How are you doing? We can see oh, you again. Hi. Just going to let Lexi see us. Hello. Hey, hi. <laughs> I'm going to pull this. Oops. Sorry, doing crazy things. Let me really quickly look. Twitter's woken up, so something's going on on Twitter. Ooh, exciting. And Paul Clark, they've sent some stuff through. That was from the other day. Oh, they said Froppy's eyes sort of look like Deku's. I guess they do, don't they? Yeah, slightly, apart from um, her eyes are all one colour. And, like, obviously there's eyelashes and stuff. This, the more you look into it, the, you can tell the difference. But, yes, they are quite simple, like Deku's. So Dan's asking if we'll be at the... Anime League, that's the animation, the manga, anime festival in, in the Cardiff Hotel, isn't it? We, I think that's what that one's called. Um, if it um, is, is no, it that's anime? the Anime and Gaming Con. Oh, okay, I don't know what Anime League is. Then. Um, we might be there, depends what it is. It <laughs> depends when it is, because I would have thought from, from where we are right now, I don't suppose anyone's leaving home for the next two months currently, so we're not going that's anywhere. That's true. Yet. Um... What I'm going to do, Lex, is I'm going to grab an image from Millie really quickly. Cool. If you want to look at Instagram while I'm just grabbing that. Yep. I will have a look. Everyone can see what I'm doing and see how I'm struggling. Here we are. <laughs> oh, Morris just sent us a picture of Froppy. That's awesome. Good work. That's really cool. Good. You should colour it and then tag us in it again. <laughs> I am failing at what I was trying to do on the computer, although I can do it on my phone. So I'm going to come back to you, Lexi. I just okay. failed. I just failed at something I was trying to do, so sorry. I've got to figure that one out on the computer. Uh, Instagram on the computer is different to Instagram on your phone, so figuring out yeah, where totally. things are. It's, it's like, where is that? Anyway, well, shall we do a quiz? Yes, let's do it. 
four friends. Oh, oh God. Doing that. <laughs> so you've still got 24 viewers, seven likes. Come on, give us some more likes, guys. That wasn't very many likes. And are you ready for quiz action, Lex? I'm going to go full screen. Yes, and, ready. Um, Lexi and I will both look at Instagram and Twitter and things and see how people do. Okay, you ready for this, guys? You're going to have to share your screen with us, though, Lex. Yeah, I'm... Um, oh, awesome. There we are. Hello, everyone. You can see me again. This is the one time you see <laughs> me. Oh. You've gone. <laughs> well, it's quite obviously Wonder Woman, isn't it? I can get that. <laughs> we'll have to wait and see if we got feedback. Is anyone guessing what it is? Not quite at the moment. This is an easy one, isn't it? I know which anime it is. I don't know which character it is. Am I allowed to tell people? Well, Cornelius is there. I think I think someone's already said. Yeah. I've lost it. Cornelius is there first, from what I can tell. He said Jojo's. Yeah. Lewis was right behind him. Jojo's. Yeah, I knew it was Jojo's. I don't know what character it is. I just had, I just kind of glimpsed it, and I think Cornelius said that it was um, who it was. Jibba. Uh, Jibba? Jibba. Josie. Oh, right. <laughs> Maybe it's. <laughs> oh, it's not, it's Jotaro. <laughs> uh, it's Jotaro it's from <laughs> Jojo's Star Adventures. Well done, guys. The next one, I'll zoom in for you. What's this one from? Hey, we've got an awesome drawing from uh, Lucas Draws. Well done. That's awesome. Hang on, people are coming in. Oh, I've gone the wrong way. I'll go to the next picture. That'll give it away. <laughs> Any can any Soul Eater, Fire Force. No, no. Jotoro Kujo. <coughs> oh that, that was for the Jojos. No, oh, sorry. Oh, we've we've stumped them today. Even even Dan W eight nine nine is like, I have no idea who this is. Uh, I thought the helmet would give it away. Go on then, Lex, give us a clue. Durr. Yes. Yes. Um, Who said that? Uh, Dan said that. Da dur, dur. So it's water. Do ra 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 ra. Yeah, do ra How many exclamation marks though? No, they didn't give any. This is deep. <laughs> oh, you failed, Dan. <laughs> Help me cosplay <laughs> struggling. Cat six, someone said. No. <laughs> right. What's this? It's cheese. It's not cheese. Uh, Elsie was there with Durarara. Well done. Oh, it's gone quiet. They're all thinking. It's a. Uh, it's um. Are you just showing McDonald's burgers because no one can buy a McDonald's <laughs> burger right now? <laughs> it's like a kind of cruelness. Food wars. No, not Lewis. Food Wars. Lewis Sorry, food Lewis. Wars. Burger King, said Cornelius. No. Devil is a part-timer. Dan. Yes! Oh, Who said that? Dan said that. Oh, and Lewis was right behind. Devil is a part-timer. Uh -huh. Awesome. So if you don't know how to comment on this, basically people are commenting on Instagram. You can find today's image on Instagram. You can also hashtag or comment to us on Instagram. We can see it that way. Have you had any comments on Instagram, Lex? Just <coughs> interest. On Instagram or Twitter? Twitter. Sorry, <laughs> my apologies. I'm having a look now. Help Me Cosplay sent me the most beautifully worded hamburger ever with different accents on every letter. I actually quite like that. <laughs> hamburger. This is... Library. <laughs> well, you get anime, like, you get anime, anime. manga on anything, don't you? Reading books. 
Uh, that teacher anime, says Dan. Yes, I'll get the next page. <laughs> Pork pie, says my mum. Pork pie? <laughs> um, help me cosplay, said Sai Sayo. S no. I'm going to go... I'm going to give it to you guys. It's the Royal Tutor. Uh, of course. Of course it is. I've seen that one like five times. <laughs> oh, what's this? Hang on. Let me zoom in for you. Black Although I'm sure some people have already got it. Someone said Black Clover on the last one. When they it. That's a very blurry image. Yes. It's Storm from the X-Men. The... Those who know will know <laughs> from this image, <laughs> no matter how blurry it is. Fate Zero? Nope. Black Clover. Lewis has said, what's Lewis said? Food Wars, all? Yes! Well done. I'm yeah. sure Dan wasn't far behind. Uh, he was, actually, just behind Food Wars. I think Lewis did well then. Lewis was the first to say it, I think. And then uh, Cornelius said, uh, My Hero Academia, no. And Dan said, Food Wars as well after Lewis. Well done, guys. <coughs> Good work. Oh, what's this? Mm, this is a really hard one. They'll never get I, this one. I don't think anyone's going to get this. It's tricky. It's obviously Pikachu. That's his ears. <laughs> Pikachu with a new hairstyle. Yeah. Morris said, Girl with no eyes. I think that's the last one. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> should I go to the next image? Or I should just leave that up because people are going to get that from MH, get it from. My Hero Academia. Yeah, well done. Uh, everyone's saying it now because obviously we're a bit delayed. Whoa, it's going crazy on Instagram suddenly. Who was the first to say it? I can't keep up. Uh, my Hero Academia. The first one to say it was Cornelius, followed by Lewis, followed by Dan, followed by Elsie, followed by... Um, help me cosplay. Uh, Morris was right there as well, and Cornelius was there as well. But he'd already said it. Said it, twice. <laughs> said it in capitals the second time. Cornelius <laughs> won it that time. Let's point to Cornelius. Oh. There we go. Luke Next Straw one. said My Hero Academia. Well done. Lots of people commented on that one. No, this image is not me in the morning. <laughs> I smile less in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> it's a well it's an older anime as in it was popular a few years ago is anyone playing on twitter there like? sorry because i'm not logged no on. i haven't found anything on twitter no, sorry my fault i haven't logged in oh hang on people starting to comment i can't keep up this suddenly goes crazy parasite no um, no um uh, berserk no barrack barrack Alucard. It is Alucard, but that's not the name of the anime. Berserker. Helsing. Yes. Dan. You said Helsing. Dan was the first to say Helsing, I think. Right, bonus point. His name is Alucard. What's that backwards? Potato face. Does anyone know what Alucard is backwards? Let's give him a moment. This is a, the lag is quite funny, and then Instagram just goes crazy for a moment. <laughs> it's like, whoa, I can't keep up. Any minute, any minute. Dan should know this. Uh, Dracula. Well done. Cornelius said. Uh, yeah. Dan was there with Dracula. Help me cosplay said Hotel Transylvania. <laughs> awesome. Right. Oh, what's this? Millie and the others from Regen said Dracula. I think that was for the last one. Mm-hmm. 
That's not fair. What image is that? I've just looked up and saw the image <laughs> on the screen. It's someone's elbow. <laughs> no, it's not someone's elbow. Is it Kiki's delivery service? Oh, we've got, we have got a thing from Twitter now. So, um, no, it's not Kiki's delivery service. Um, Paul Clark on Twitter said Helsing for that, the last one, which is correct. Awesome. Well done. Yeah, cool. I think they've joined us today, so hello. <laughs> 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 okay, so I'm gonna go to the next image. Little Witch Academia. No. <laughs> so this one always stumps people. I wonder why. <laughs> it's fairy tale, is it? No. Oh. Uh uh. Wrong. <laughs> <Nick>. <laughs> Fail. <laughs> Go on and give them a clue. I'll have to give them the answer. They've gone very so, quiet. Oh, well, the clue is this is called, um, the cat is called... Soul Eater, someone just said. Yes, Soul Eater, well done. This is called the Witch, uh, Blair the Witch, or oh, the Witch cool. Blair. Okay. But yes, from Soul Eater. First versus A Cosolio was Dan, followed by Help Me Cosplay, and Cornelius kept saying, Kill the Kill. <laughs> no, not kill the kill. Oh, Elsie was right there as well with Mar uh, with Soul Eater. Well done, Elsie Marks. I don't know if Cornelius was just saying he wanted to kill me or if he was saying it was kill to kill. Forks? I actually know what this is. <laughs> Cuttlery, the anime. <laughs> <laughs> Fork man. <laughs> hey, dear, my name is Fork. Can I tell you the answer? Because you should what? know this by now. I think it's Black Butler. Well done, Nick. Yeah! Now, obviously, there's a lag, so we'll see if uh, people got it. They would have got it before I've said that. It's just, you were just too excited because you knew an anime. I answered. Did I get <laughs> one point? I got one point. <laughs> Black Butler! Black Butler! Lots of people saying Black Butler. It's going crazy. Uh, awesome. Lewis was first with Black Butler. Dan was right behind Cornelius. <laughs> awesome. I think we come to the end now. Yeah. Almost. Um. Our time is nearly up as well. Mm hmm. Green eyes. <laughs> Someone will get this now. I go to the next picture. Oh, hang on. Um, food servant, dark shade food servant. What was that? <laughs> I think. I'm confused. Oops, Dan's just said Demon Slayer. Not Demon Slayer. Oh, they've gone quiet. They're thinking about it. They're scratching their heads. I can hear them scratching their heads. <laughs> Uh, dragon, dragon romper. Dragon romper, dragon no. Romper. Sorry, I can read. Dragon. <laughs> Sorry, I see. I can read. Honest. <laughs> Demon Slayer. Cornelius said no. This used to be on Netflix. I'm not sure if it is anymore. I think I've stumped them. Oh, hang on. Um, Kimetsu. Yeah, but no, it's not Demon Slayer, guys. <laughs> I don't know if the next one will give it away. Probably, but show him anyway. <laughs> Zeref of the End. Oh, I knew that. Did you know? You that? know the with the vampires and stuff, with the really weird ending. Did anyone get it? No, he's gone really quiet for a moment. Well, thank you for that, Lex. I'm going to yeah, minimise you down. Maybe we'll come back to you and you'll show us yourself again. <laughs> yes, and certainly. We'll see if people are still watching. Yeah, we've got 12 likes, still got 25 followers. That was awesome. Um, where are we? Uh, hi, Lex. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Hang on, I'm just getting my screen up now. 
There I am. <laughs> awesome. Well, I think... I'm just looking at the comments again. Um, Lewis is complaining that the quiz is always too um, too tight. Well, that's, that's just the problem with quizzes, isn't it? It's too <laughs> close, isn't it? I don't think anyone got it in the end. Not there at um, the end, no. no. Oh, well. Cool. You call yourselves anime fans. Tut, tut, tut. <laughs> right, guys, um, that's been an hour. I hope you've enjoyed the drawings with us today. It was fun, wasn't it, Lex? Yeah, no, really good. Thank you for Nick for take, taking the lead and make it uh, starting the class today. <laughs> That's okay. And figuring <laughs> out how we're going to do this, how we're going to be in two locations, but one location at exactly the same time. Mm -hmm. Bizarre. Guys, thanks for joining us. If you like the class, give us a little thumbs up. Um, if you're not a subscriber, subscribe. That's always useful. Um, if you want more of this, we've got a class on Wednesday, but you've got a you got to pay a small fee. It's on our website right now. Just go on there and you'll see how it kind of works. And we're going to do some Pokemon stuff and some Pokemon quizzes. It's going to be a bit lighthearted, a bit of fun. Um, and also, if you want uh, actually a more kind of in-depth tutorial, you can join us via Skype. You can book a session and we can come and we can look at your drawings one-to-one -one and actually correct your drawings online so you can actually get taught as opposed to at the moment we're not evil, able to, wow, look at that drawing legs. Other way, that's it. That's a nice drawing of a hand. Um, we can actually give you feedback on your drawings then, which is a little <coughs> bit tricky. We will try and work it out in this hour class, but it's a little bit trickier. We're, we're learning all the time. But thanks, guys. Stay safe. And, uh, Hi. Bye. Bye. Yeah, sorry, Lex. I was speaking all over you, but and we'll see you all soon. I'm just going to go. I do yeah. know what I'm doing. And we're going to say bye-bye. See bye -bye. you next time.